All right, guys, we are standing in front of 6631 Marmaduke. And we're doing a final walkthrough. Up here's the backyard. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff here, and we are buying the property as is. All right, guys, we are standing in front of 6631 and 6635 Marmaduke. This is a property that we are gonna be closing on this afternoon. And essentially, I'm out here today with uh, my partner, Mike, and we're doing a final walkthrough of the building. Now, they're supposed to have all their stuff out by 3 p.m. today, and it's about 11 a.m. right now. So, it doesn't look like they're gonna have all their stuff out, but you know, maybe they get back and they do it. In the meantime, this is a duplex. It's got a flat roof on it. Oh, hi, little puppy. And it looks like it could use a lot of work. Here's the backyard. And a big old tree, all overgrown. Definitely gonna need a lot of work. It's got a deck and a basement. Let's go check out the inside units here. Uh, was Mike, my partner, has been in one side, the left side. We have not been in the right side yet. This was a lead from a friend who's an agent, and I believe it's a short sale that he's working. So this is one of those properties that I believe is on the market, but we didn't find it. We got the lead sent to us from a friend who is working the short sale. So. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff here, and we are buying the property as is. Now again, the tenants that were in here are supposed to be removing all this furniture, but I would guess that they're just gonna probably take. Hey guys. What's up? Hey, hey. I'd imagine that the tenants are just gonna take what they want and leave everything else behind. So they may already be done moving out, but their deadline is today at 3 p.m. As you can see, there's the basement. So this is a, it's a duplex. It's basically shotgun style units. It's one level with an unfinished basement. So here's our kitchen. You can see that this place needs a full rehab. Full blown rehab. So, lots of stuff. Here's the back door going outside. There's our pantry. Kitchen area here. I'd imagine this was maybe a bedroom here because it has a closet right there. Here is the bathroom which we peeked in and then there's steps going down to the basement. This kind of looks like uh, like a little family room here that I'm in now and another family room or living room in the front. So we have these little shotgun type units. Mike these are considered one beds right? Yeah, like studio or shotgun. Studio, shotgun. Just, yeah. Here's the basement on the left side. Again, it's just filled with stuff. Lots of stuff. Random stuff and junk. Looks like we have a heater. I'm not seeing an HVAC. There's the water heater. They had window units upstairs, I noticed. So we'll have to probably install the HVAC portion here. Looks like they did some sort of concrete work at some point, but this has a lot of stuff in the house still. 
So it's gonna require a big clean out. I doubt the tenants are gonna take much more. Again, they're probably gonna to wanna to take what they what they want and then leave the rest behind. But I'm gonna go walk into the next unit now. All right, video two, right side of the building. Let's check out. So there is a condenser there. So maybe there is an HVAC, but you see there's a window unit right there. I'm not a huge fan of these flat roof properties. This is definitely an older property, but we got a good deal on it. So there is a condenser on that side. So each unit has its own HVAC. Maybe the window unit is just supplements to help cool. Uh, very similar. Just has a lot of stuff in the unit. Another window unit in the front. This one's got two window units. And as you can see, it's just got a bunch of stuff left behind. Same style unit, one level. Smells like cigarette smoke bad in this one. So family room, living room in the front here. This is probably the, no, it's got a little closet. Here is the bathroom. Pretty nasty, stinks. You can see just how gross it is. Pretty gross. All right, here's the bedroom. You can see there's issues with water leaking really bad in this unit, so it's probably gonna need a new roof, I'd imagine. Here's our kitchen. Yeah, it's pretty gross. And you can see we're dealing with all sorts of issues up here on the roof, on the ceiling water issues all the way down to behind the plaster to the exposed brick all these cabinets are gonna have to get gutted out of here so yeah this is gonna be quite the project over here I think we estimated about 60 maybe 70 K worth of work we were planning on keeping this as a as a rental Go down in the basement. This is gonna be a burr method rental for us. That was the plan. Has washer and dryer hooks ups, has PVC plumbing. This guy's got a lot of tools down here. Man, spider webs everywhere. That's no fun. Oof, man. Water heater, HVAC, it's got a big hole in the ground. And got some more storage back there. But I'm getting out of this nasty basement until we can clean it out. But all in all, needs a lot of work. And it'll make for a good rental once we clean it up. Clean it up, clean it out, rehab it. And I think we'll probably be every bit of 70 grand on this one. Just due to the fact that it's got a lot of issues. Stinks like smoke on this side. You got water issues. But uh, yeah, we're closing on this one this afternoon, guys. This is just our final walkthrough. So definitely needs some work. We'll update y'all once we do another uh, video of this one. Closing on this one today, right? I will right now. All right, got it. Signing off, guys.